Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampathi watching Sampath Sanfx YouTube channel and this is me 11x custom ROM reviews. You can see here Evolution X 13 Android version 13 here. 7.1 EU Alioth official 5th September 2022. It's in latest available field for me 11x Poco F3 slash Redmi K40. Kernel used here is 4.19.255 immensity kernel. This is very good kernel as of now. And build date you can see September 7. A little bit late for my version. I already made a Cherish OS 4.0 based on same version. You can check out here. I'll give a card. It's a very good ROM. And this ROM is a little bit different from that ROM. Most of them features are same, but I'll be explaining in detail straight until the end of the video. You can see build number and build date and ceiling status is M4 sync. And I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 10 minutes and 8 milliseconds. You can see the maximum score is 262, average is 214 and minimum is 171. It's throttled to 75% of its max performance, which is you can see in the graph, there is a little bit of throttling going on even in day-to-day -day tasks also. I have been noticed when you use certain app for a long time, it will throttle. You won't notice that i mean instantly you won't notice it but if you use it for a couple of hours and couple of days for this particular rom there is little bit i don't say it's a completely deal breaker or it will stay away to flash this rom it's not like that it's little bit throttling has been noticed in this particular rom i tried to flash it again also after that also the situation is same it's it's fine in my opinion you can see the uh, benchmark results here i have installed this android you can see the app opening time also and you can see 5,94,722 and temperature raise was 3.5 degrees celsius and 4 percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing which is fine in my opinion and its scores are a little bit lower compared to that cherry choice but scores doesn't matter this will just numbers and benchmark results if you again run the score it will be different in my opinion and hence the performance is fine here you can see the gigabyte scores also and i've been playing bgma from yesterday the performance is fine 851 single score and 2793 is the multi-score and kernel use here is linux 4.19.25 in immensity kernel as i said before and that's how it is you can see ui is very responsive and smooth just in some of the apps i have noticed throttling but apart from that bgm i haven't seen any throttling that you need to know that's how it is and i have installed a tr camera as you can see this is a gcam port i have installed and there is a xml file for this in the telegram group i found out let's check this one i thought and it's fine actually the performance of this camera is fine if you want you can use any other gcam ports i actually like arno build gcam but here i'm just using this tr camera how it works it's fine in my opinion and you get this basic camera don't use that if you want you can use any other gcam ports for this mi 11x redmi k40 or poco f3 device and you get this game space here just you get basic options exactly same when you compare with cherish is 4.0 for more reference you can watch that video and Dolby Atmos support is there. I haven't changed any of the settings kept to dynamic it's fine in my opinion again you get those direct sound settings here also the hi-fi audio error is there I'll explain everything but recorder is new type here under 13 and the QS panel let me show you this is the QS panel and it's responsive as you can see it's a little bit better compared to cherish OS and the settings and the power button has been moved here and with whichever app will be active will be seen here in this space and media player will be shown here i hope you guys know but if you are new to this android 13 that you need to know here nothing new in android 13 visually you won't see any difference like material you and monet engine customizations are little bit like if you turn on some of the options let me show location you get here animation as you can see Apart from that, nothing is there. Let me try with Bluetooth. You can see there is animation within the toggles. That's the new thing you can see in Android 13. Whereas the Android 12 and 12.1L, you don't have any animations and little bit tweaking has been done. You won't notice if you look it deeply, then only you will understand that. And torch light, every basic settings are working fine. You can see in the edit section, there are a lot more options. If and you can use the QR code and one handed mode settings here and auto brightness sensor working fine in my opinion 
this all the quick settings panel and the widgets you get under android 13 wallpapers is nothing but under 12 or 12 wallpapers and basic colors and this is one more new change you get lot more colors here as you can see that wasn't the case in android 12 and theme icons are still bit and dark theme i really like it guys it's in pitch black condition you can see that's i really like it in this particular rom it's fine in my opinion you can see that's how it is and refresh rate you can change from the quick settings file and there is a dedicated settings for it also and i have here as you can see 100 mps geo giga fiber connection is pulling up to 97 mps which is good in my opinion the mobile data connection is also fine carrier aggregation support is there earpiece i don't have problem the dialer is fine here you get google dialer which is fine in my opinion direct video call feature is there working fine no problem regarding that whatsapp is also working fine this is my primary device i will be using it as a primary device and this is rom i have last couple of days back it's working fine i flashed two times <laughs> it's a little bit difficult flashing this me 11x as you can see you need to use otg if the rom is encrypted you need to use this otg or you can flash through adb file setup in pc a little bit difficult because we don't have micro sd card support here hence you need to use otg or the pc as i said Whereas some other smartphones I have, Poco X, Redmi Note, Samba, it's a little bit easy to flash here. Flashing method is simple. Just first format the data, then only you will get access to read this external storage. Then you can mount it and uh, simple clearing the Dalvik catch and data metadata and flashing firmware. I am using 13.0.7 Mi Linux firmware and flashing ROM again format data and reboot the system flashing guide is very simple and i was reviewing the apps here let me show you safety net status will it get passed yes it will get passed the device is certified you can use all the payment application as you can see i'm using phone pay and as i said i made a transaction so no problem regarding that whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that and drm info also you can get level one certification no problem regarding that that's how it is and social media swiping those are fast enough but in some of like exactly i seen in flipkart and amazon the throttling apart from that i did not see any problem what i said and ua is as smooth as cherry shows because i first flash that from if you guys flash this and come to that it will feel the same system you get gestures here system navigation to gesture navigation pill length option is there as you can see you can adjust from here that's really good thing for me you can see one handed mode swipe to three fingers screenshot everything is working fine that's how the problem language and input options are given and system update option is also given here but i don't recommend uh, again use this and flash the rom that if flash is okay i think for updates but i recommend to clean flash it it will make difference and evolver you get all the settings here animations again you don't have screen of animation apart from that everything is same miscellaneous settings you need to enable unlimited photo storage and high fps games then only you get high fps games and also photo storage and jitter you can calculate here it's just a app has been added here you can check out game space is also there and ambient display is also working fine it will drain a little bit of battery if you want you can enable or disable that actual settings you can see the battery battery saver is given extreme battery saver is also given thermal profiles per app you can choose battery usage has been recorded as you can see you can expect around five to six hours of screen on time if you play continuous game only five hours from 100 to zero i am telling if you're using i will not use it i will use it from 85 to 25 percent like that 90 to 20 it will give me five six hours of skin on time i'll again charge it that's how it is the battle life is good and ideal battery drain is also very very low in my usage of this particular rom evolution x 7.1 based on android 13 and display settings also fine here pocket detection screen timeout and extra dim features and adaptive brightness is fine dark theme as i said before it's fine it's in pitch black condition display size and text here i kept these settings if you want you can copy that it will look better in my opinion i like this settings nightlight feature is the live display colors you can keep here i just kept saturated to make my video look a little bit better but you can keep natural and boosted and adaptive which is working fine minimum maximum kept to 120 and low refresh rate kept to 60 i tried with 120 also it's same 
just you can change minimum here to 60 then it will be a little bit better in terms of battery life but keep it 120 per app refresh rate also you can change here ambient display as i said before it will drain a little bit of battery but it's fine wallpaper sun style you get plenty of wallpapers and basic colors i already shown this accessibility menu here you can change some of the customization like display size and color and motion magnification tack back select to speak sound amplifier live transcript accessibility menu this is an handy feature as you can see without using the actual physical buttons of volume you can adjust from here and even brightness also without using the quick settings panel and you can switch between apps from recent apps also which is an handy feature you can definitely try in android 12 and above aosp roms security feature you get just face and sorry finger pen unlock no face unlock rom is encrypted by default location is working fine google maps are also working fine system update option is there and digital well-being you can see here this is all the basic settings is fine in my opinion let me show you the bgma gameplay and one of this video and i usually use this connector with the jbl earphones i have a couple of earphones also guys but even the realme buds wireless 200 me earbuds 3 pulse i have bluetooth but i don't satisfy with that for gaming i use this wired earphones two things bother me a lot whenever i use this mi 11x one the sd card support and the headphone jack omission that would have been better but anyhow it is and the gameplay is fine some other people show you recorded gameplay with actual fps i can't show you that but i can explain how it handles actually and i have played plenty of matches here and volume let me increase it's loud enough you can definitely make it out without headphones i don't play it if you guys play it's fine it's up to you and lot more videos coming guys and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like guys i'll be motivated to make similar kind of videos already lot more people landed hope so i get any gun here okay it was there it's too much loud here <laughs> let's find some more loot it was fine actually i am playing with the almost 10 to 12 rounds of matches i have been playing it's as same as cherry choice only even in cherry choice also the game experience was good here also it's good in 90 fps option okay there were two that's how the gameplay is fine actually i played plenty of matches in this particular room the evolution x 7.1 for me 11x it's fine the fingerprint unlock speed let me show you as you can see it's fine you can definitely make it out it is not fastest but still it's quick enough to unlock your smartphone and 33 watt charging support it's there i charged plenty of time can see it will show charging rapidly within a while suddenly it will not charge you in high voltage you can see that's fine and uh, is it okay you can switch it out if you are in older versions of evolution if you want to switch this particular rom you can definitely use it as a daily driver and if you want to switch some other rom i recommend to use the cherry choice 4.0 it's my opinion and i what i liked it up to you guys and uh, if you have any comments you can comment down in the comment section i'll read it and replay you within 24 or 48 hours this is how the my review for evolution x 7.1 on me 11x redmi k40 and poco f3 
will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now